Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Thank you for watching my video today. I recently did several videos involving snap pouches and what I was using to store in them was the mini envelope templates. This is the set of square templates. I will give you the link down below to the templates for this one. I have the measurements and instructions and how to use them. So it's how to make your own mini envelopes without a punch board. So now I want to go on to the next set of mini envelopes, and these ones will be rectangles. The first one was a set of squares, and I want to show you all of these. And then I will also give you a link down below to the blog post in which um, I give you all these measurements. So just so you know, you don't have to start writing furiously to get it all down. So all, this makes one, two, three, four, six templates. They're all rectangles, as you can see. And um, I give you the measurements for each template. Uh, and I tell you how to find the midway. So you can find halfway this way and halfway that way for every one of these sizes. And then when you turn them over, it tells you the card size. In other words, what cards you would need to make to put in the envelope. And then the size of the envelope itself, meaning the size of paper you need to cut in order to make the envelope. So this one here is the second to largest one right there. And I'm going to show you how to make the largest one because I think it will show up better on video to do that. And I'll show you how I did this cute little button wrap. Uh, when I did the square ones, I had little tuck spots for the uh, envelope flap to tuck into. And I decided for these, I want to do something different. And I wasn't sure until I started playing around how I wanted to do that. So I am going to use, this is a six inch paper pad. I got it Tuesday morning. It's We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm looking for, uh, do they have a name for this particular pad? Oh, Baby Mine, which, okay. It's supposed to be for babies. I don't know, but <laughs> I have this floral print I want to use. So let's turn this over. And it says that I need to cut an envelope. I need it to be five inch square. So let me get this out. And let's cut that to five inch. I'm making sure there's no holes or um, punched lines around the edge. Sometimes in the paper pads, they could have a hole on it. So five inch square. I see this is a little curved, so I'm going to go with the straightest edge I have. See, the burn I had is doing so much better. I finally got it to where I was able to put makeup on it to kind of tone it down, but uh, at least no more Band-Aids for a while. Okay, so what we need to do here is turn it over, and with a ruler, I'm going to mark from one corner to the next. I'm using pencil. Oops. I hope that shows up on video. Usually on video, I use a pen, but I do see it's showing up. And then on this, I'm going corner to corner, line it up but I'm only going to draw it from the center down because this is going to be my top flap and I don't want pencil marks showing. I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to line up these three lines right there and I'm going to hold that down while I score all the way around this. And then I like to continue holding the template down while I bring my flaps in and score them all, score them and burnish them. Okay, now I'm going to bring, I'm, put this so it looks like a T, the pencil marks, and I'm gonna bring these in here so I can see what I'm doing. But what I have here, I don't have to do that. I have this little triangle here on each side, and I need to cut all those triangles. I could just do it this way. But for me, it's just easier for me to see it, what I'm doing, if I do it like this. And then fold them out, and then trim them off like that. So it's the same thing as if I just open it up and cut it like this on the score lines. Either way, it will get you there. Okay, so now put it back like a T with your pencil marks, fold the two sides in, and then fold this up, and you will see where to glue. But one thing, and you get this with envelope uh, punch boards as well, I don't like that point. And so I can take a ruler and line it up between that point and this point, and 
draw a little line so I know where to trim that off. I Like I said, I just don't like that point. Okay, and now I know where to glue. I can see how high up this goes and how much glue I can put on here. And now you can see why I didn't put pencil marks up here because I don't want those pencil marks being seen on my envelope when I open it up. Okay, so that is all you have to do. Now I think I want to do a little extra here and I want to round the corner flap. And then I want to punch a hole. Now I have my small hole punch here. I don't think it actually has the measurement on it, but it's not the quarter inch, it's the step down from that. I'm just gonna make a little hole right about there. I've just eyeballed it. And then I'm going to get my baker's twine out and see what I have that I kind of like to go with that. This is kind of pretty. It's uh, It's got gold flecks in it. And I have these ones here, or just, I think I might just go with the kind of the solid color because I want to find a cute button. Let me look at my buttons. I have this set that I got. It used to be Stampin' Up, and I think these are really pretty colors. I like that. I really like the yellow because I don't use yellow that much in crafting. So how much baker's twine to get? What I want to be able to do, I have to fold it in half and make sure it's long enough before I cut it. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of guess right here. It needs to be long enough to be in the loop, come around here, and one more time, and then wrap around the button a few times and have a tail. So that's pretty good. I actually guessed really well. So I'll measure this just to, um, for posterity's sake. <laughs> I've got 12... I have 16 inches times two, so that's pretty good. Fold it in half, it's 16 inches. So I'm going to take the end and loop it through here and feed the two long ends in there. Now I need to get my button on and it's hard to thread two um, baker's twines through the holes because it's so, uh, they're so thick. So I'm going to use dental floss. I used to use uh, just, um, oh, button thread. And I used to do it, and I, someone gave me these. They are, my friend gave me these. They are so helpful. They are dental flossers. So I need to come up from the bottom of the button and then put both my ends of the baker's twine in there and pull it through. And then I need to go down the button, the other hole. And pull that through. Oops, I didn't, I didn't get them in there. Let's try that again. Okay, so I need to go down there. And where's my ends? Here they are. They have to go into... There we go. Now I'll pull that through. Okay, so that is so much easier. Plus the dental floss, it's kind of, it's waxy. Okay, now I'm gonna just push the buttons down. And where I want them is so that when I wrap it around, they come right about the center, right there. So take your two pieces of baker twine, baker's twine, come around the front and then position your button right about the center there. Then go around again, and then all you do is wrap it around the button, just like you do those um, on those manila envelope office folders. There you go. That's all there is to it. So make sure you look down below at the links, because I'm giving you the blog post with all of these measurements so that you can copy them from there and not feel like you have to keep pausing the video to, um, to write all these down. But just so you know, this is the one we did. It, so if I were to put a card in here, my card would be 2.5 by 3.5. The next size is this one, which the card is two and a quarter by three and a quarter, and it requires a four and a half inch square piece of paper for the envelope. The next size, two by three inch card, and the envelope starts with a four inch square. The next size, it's a one and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch card, and the envelope starts with a three and five eighths inch square. The second to the last card is one and a half by two and a half inch card, and the envelope is three and a quarter inch square to start with. And the very last one 
Your card is one and a quarter by two and a quarter inches and your envelope starts as a two and three quarter inch square. So there you go, everyone. So just make sure you also look below so you can have instructions on how to make snap pouches. And then you have a way of storing um, all your templates because I just, I don't want to lose these. After having made these, these will always be handy. So this one I labeled and now this one I'm going to label mini envelope templates rectangles. Thank you for watching. Look at all those links down below.